Welcome to Fake Hair Real Talk. My name is Bren and we are doing a wig review. Thank you Wig Studio One for sending me this piece to review. If y'all have not checked them out, it is www.wigstudioone.com and they also have a private Facebook group. It is a support group of about 5,400 women at this time. They're all dealing with some kind of hair loss, whether it be from chemo or trichotillomania or thinning from medication, whatever the case may be. Um, it's just a bunch of women supporting each other. And so I know it can feel lonely. We would love to have y'all there. It is called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. So y'all go check us out. We would love to have y'all. This wig review today is over Ellen Villa Changes Collection. Touch and Chocolate Rooted, and the colors in there are 630 and a number four. Let's take a look at her. The thing that I noticed with this color were the highlights because they put these highlights, see the light 30 right there, all in the front? Right in the front, y'all. And that is something that we see um, Raquel Welch doing, and sometimes John Renault, depending, but I would really like to see John Renault do that more. Um, but then it is throughout, but nothing crazy. It's really subtle. And I will take y'all outside so you can see it in natural lighting as well, so that will help. Um, she is, let's look inside of her cap. She's an open wefted cap, and that will allow airflow so it won't be as hot. Uh, she has the mono part on the left, so she only parts to the left. She Now, she does have an extended lace. It is from ear tap to ear tap, if you can see this. Okay. So, with her having that extended lace, you might be able to manipulate a, a right-hand part, maybe. It's nothing I've tried, so but it is a possibility. She has really thin ear tabs, and I like that. I mean, they're really thin. There's no permatease right there, so if you wear glasses and want to tuck behind your ears, I think this will, this will be a good one for that. She has an extended nape. And it has some metal stays in there as well. What kind of adjusters? Velcro adjusters. So when you find your spot, don't keep undoing it because it might wear out that Velcro. And here's the darker color because she's kind of rooted. She is rooted, but then See, I don't have her parted right, guys. Hold on. I don't want y'all to think that that's what her top looks like because it's not. I hope y'all can see kind of the darker. Okay, let's put her on. Okay, I'm back. I had to go get a mirror because I didn't have one here. Look how cute she is. Sorry guys. She is so cute. And she's light. Now I don't know where this should go. It feels like it should go over there. But it's separating. Maybe it does go. Okay, I guess it went under here. Now, 
no permatease. Anybody that knows Ellen Villa, most of the time they do not put a lot of permatease in their pieces. Um, one thing you should know, you need to measure your head because Ellen Villa measures um, smaller, they run smaller. And my head is 21 inches around and from hairline to the tip of my chin is eight and my neck is four. So when I give y'all measurements, maybe that'll help y'all figure out kind of where things will fall on you. Cause I know a lot of times a, a curl will fall weird on me and it changes the look of the wig to where I can't wear it or I can't. Um, so let me do a spin for y'all and I'll tell you her measurement. Her bang is 10 inches, okay? Her sides are 10 inches. Her nape, 10 inches. And the crown is 10 inches. And she weighs 3.9 ounces. She's very light. And I think you could probably just steam her up a little bit and maybe use some spray, but she's pretty good. Here is her lace front. And this is my hair right here. She would be easy to put some bangs in. You could just pull it down and then cut. I think she'd be really cute. Clipped, clip back like this, or some twist. And the good thing is, is with her having that extended lace, it kind of helps with styling options. Okay, let's go outside and take a look at what she looks like. Hi guys, sorry someone's out here mowing down the street, so sorry if it's loud. But you can see more now where it's rooted. But this is showing, let me look at in person. This looks more Auburn in person. Trying to figure out a place for that looks more blonde but I don't know why it's not at least for me right now it looks more blonde it is more of an auburn color so I hope that helped guys y'all take care like and subscribe